while this is for educational purposes only. This panel proposes nuking the moon to make the weather better on Earth. As wild as that may seem, a certain superpower in the past thought about doing something similar to demonstrate technological advancement. But since then, an international treaty has been in place preventing such things. Sending a nuke to the moon would be very expensive, technically challenging, and highly risky. But for the sake of this idea, let's assume we really could do it right now. The nuke would arrive there and detonate. I know some are going to say this can't happen because combustions require oxygen, which is absent in space. But here's the thing. A nuclear bomb uses a fission reaction which converts a minute amount of mass into an enormous amount of energy. So there is no fire involved and no oxygen required. After detonation, there would be a massive and extremely hot explosion. However, because there is no atmosphere on the moon, no fireball or mushroom cloud would form and there will be no atmospheric pressure wave. No atmosphere also means no drag. Combined with the weak gravity on the moon, some ejected debris will escape lunar gravity and continue traveling. Parts of those are sure to reach us eventually, but the pieces are too tiny and they would burn up in the atmosphere anyway. If you were looking at the moon at the exact moment of the explosion, you will see a faint flash like an LED light in the distance. The detonation could trigger some seismic activity on the moon, but it's not like it's bothering anyone. The surface would remain contaminated for a while, but again, no one will be affected by it. Except for a new crater amongst thousands, not much would happen, because nukes are insignificant on a planetary scale. Earthquakes, hurricanes or asteroids have much more energy and they often hit the moon. If you are thinking about destroying the moon entirely, you would need hundreds of billions of nuclear heads. And that's a conservative estimate. The nuke wouldn't make any measurable difference in the moon's orbit, and the resulting debris would be irrelevant. Overall, everything would remain pretty much unchanged. 